Hey, thanks for joining us today. This is Ken, and uh, today's trip that I'm going to bring you is from uh, Machaca Charters in Falmouth, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, with uh, Captain Willie Hatch at the helm. And uh, I've been doing this trip for the last three years, and uh, it's a blast every year. I just love it. I look forward to it. It's kind of um, a part of my ritual for kicking off the new fishing season. And uh, I go up there with Willie uh, pretty much to catch squid. And the squid fishing up there is like second to none. It's pretty much the best there is at that time of year in, uh, in early May. And uh, he throws in an hour of blackfish uh, fishing on each trip. And within an hour, we limit the boat out. The limit is three blackfish per person. And um, like I said, it's lock and load, fast and furious action. Uh, we end up throwing back all kinds of uh, beautiful sea bass. There's definitely some short tog to throw back to. And then uh, plenty of keepers to go around for everybody. So uh, watch the action. And one more quick thing. Uh, this is a question that I get asked very often. So uh, people ask me, how do I attach my crab baits to my hooks and here you see the hook going in the hook point is going into the rear leg socket and it's going to come out one of the front leg sockets so that the hook point is exposed okay very important to have some hook point exposed and that is the most secure way to attach a crab to your hooks so whenever we tog fish up here in the spring, we're pretty much accustomed to having a, a lot of pretty strong tide flowing. Uh, we try to get uh, to get there near the slack, but we always uh, catch a period of uh, hard running water. And what you see me doing here is I uh, I had a flat 8 ounce on to begin with and I switched that out for a, a 12 ounce bank sinker and I'm pitching it up current. Uh, we're anchored on top of the wreck and uh, you want that, that bait to get down on the wreck on the prime real estate with all that water pushing so hard. Uh, a sinker that's too light can just cause it to blow back past the piece of bottom that you're trying to target. So you need a really heavy piece of lead that's going to hold bottom, that's going to get down to the bottom quickly. And once again, I'm pitching it up tide so that it, it lands hopefully in the right place, right on top of the hard structure.
I just want to point out that uh, you see here we are careful to measure every fish to make sure that they're all legal and uh, we're bleeding out every fish and uh, we poke it in the gills with the scissors and um, put it in the bucket make sure it bleeds out and that improves the overall flavor of the fish it makes the fillet snow white blood is the first thing in any living organism to decompose and break down and that means spoilage so if you get the blood out of your fish out of your meat decomposition uh, happens more slowly and uh, you have a longer shelf life in the refrigerator and uh, hopefully uh, properly frozen too Personally, I'm a fan of using the Food Saver uh, vacuum sealer, and that's how I store all of my fish and meat long term in the freezer. And at this point, I really have to apologize to all the guys that I was fishing with on this particular trip because uh, I really had no time at all to focus the camera on any of them and shoot their catches, unfortunately. The fishing was so fast and furious that I basically had to concentrate on my own rod and get the fish in the boat fast so um you know that's nothing to complain about really but uh i do regret not being able to get some great footage of uh, everybody else on board too um all i can say is maybe next time i hope to get another camera and cover more angles around the boat in the future so uh that's something to look forward to. the wrap up. This was one great hour or so of tog fishing. It was truly fast and furious. We had some nice quality fish. Not trophies, but a great day of tog fishing anywhere. Uh, Craig caught a beauty. Uh, Frank caught a beauty. I had some nice fish. We, we pretty much, uh, nobody can complain. It was just great fishing, and I want to thank uh, Captain Willie. And uh, in the next segment that I uh, put out, I'm going to bring you part two squid fishing. Thanks for watching.